Using these indices, can you tell us about how Avenham and Callan Estate over the yes, past 10 years um, have improved? One of the key aspects of uh, the quality of life that people have is obviously their, their housing, their, um, their residential experience. Uh, and that's important for two ways. One, the quality of the housing, and two, the experience that people have when they step outside the, uh, outside the door. And that ties in things like uh, um, their immediate environment, is it clean, is it safe? Um, so the, the two things that all the public um, attitude surveys tell you that, that uh, people see as being most important um, for how they feel about their area are the environment outside their door uh, and, and the quality of their housing and then the community safety aspect. Do they feel threatened? Do they feel safe? What we've tried to do over the past 10 years or more is access as much additional money as we can, particularly targeted at those inner urban areas, um, so that we can both improve the fabric of the housing and then secondly do environmental improvements um, outside, in and around the housing. Um, is there the right kind of uh, play provision for kids and stuff in the area? Are there facilities that people um, can, can, can use? Um, the, in the Avedham area, we were able to use a special fund called the Estates Renewal Challenge Fund to do most of the improvement there. We've also used significant amounts of um, single regeneration budget money uh, and also neighbourhood renewal fund money. Both of those are two special funds which the government um, ran over the past 10 years. They're now closed, but there are successor funds, um, things like the Working Neighbourhoods Fund, which we're again using in similar ways. And what we've tried to do with those is improve the fabric, the quality of the housing, to bring housing up to the government's decent home standards. And we've more or less completed that um, now, although particularly with housing, there's always an issue about ongoing maintenance. It's not just that you reach a point where everything's hunky-dory and then you can leave it. You need to keep investing. One of the ways that we've had to, um, one of the things that we've had to do to enable us to continue that investment is we've transferred most of the council's own housing stock to, uh, private, uh, to, to uh, uh, housing associations housing association landlords because that in main part it allows them to borrow in the private sector um, to invest in the housing stock and the management which we as a public body are precluded from doing or we can only do up to certain limits um, that was a, a significant wrench I think particularly for the elected members um, but at the end of the day it was really borne in uh, on us as officers and they as members, that really it was the only way that we could be assured about accessing the level of finance that was needed um, to maintain and improve the housing stock.